Now, before I talk about why I think Deep Rock Galactic is a perfect game, I want to get into what I mean when I say perfect, because obviously it's an exaggeration there is no such thing as perfection but i think it's a word that perfectly describes something that checks all the boxes and exceeds what it intended to be if a game never wanted to be let's say a story game or a, a 2d platformer you can't fault the game for not being that so in my mind when a game is perfect that means what that game wanted to be what it set out to do and what audience it was going for it nailed it and knocked it out of the park and is better than anyone even the developers could have hoped it would be with that in mind i think deep rock galactic is a perfect game when it comes to exactly what ghost ship games wanted it to be now deep rock galactic is a four player one to four player co-op shooter where you play as dwarves you play as spacefaring sci-fi dwarves, like your typical fantasy dwarves, but in space. And you have a goal of going down to this hostile alien planet in missions to mine loot, kill aliens, get gold, and just have a good time. It's a very simple premise, but it's something that Deep Rock Galactic really takes and just really pulls out all the stops for. It's just so much fun to play. You take this concept, dwarves, like from The Hobbit or, you know, the Middle Earth or Warhammer or World of Warcraft, anything, your typical fantasy dwarf, put them in space with guns, take their love of cave dwelling and fighting monsters and treasure hoarding, and you just basically make it in space with this mission structure, and you really, like, it's such a simple idea. But it works so beautifully. Like, one, let me say here, dwarves are my favorite uh, fantasy race. Uh, I just love dwarves. I've always loved dwarves. I've played basically any time a dwarf is an option for a playable race, that's what I play. And if a game had dwarves but says they're extinct or not around, uh, that that's points against the game for me. Dwarves have always been my fascination when it comes to fantasy races. I've never been into elves as much or orcs or goblins or anything like that dwarves have always been my go-to short stocky buff loves their beer making cities in the mountains that's what i love so when i saw deep rock galactic last year when it was uh, doing a free-to-play week i knew i had to try it with my friend and man this game is just awesome like, I've just talked about the premise and what it is and why it specifically speaks to me so much. I, if you even, I say, if you don't love dwarves or anything like that, that really, it's no big deal. It doesn't really make a difference. It's, it's mostly just a, a theme and a cosmetic thing. But it obviously helps if you love dwarves as much as I do. When I first played it, I was met with four class options. My friend had gone scout because he saw that they would get a, like a rifle eventually. I went with the gunner because I just love being the guy who's just dishing out as much damage as possible, knocking out as much kills as possible, and just really being in the, the thick of the fight. That's why I always play great sword classes and MMOs. I just I love being really the, the the brute force character. And I was blown away with just how much there is to the game. At first I thought it would be basically just this repetitive structure which in a way it is but this repetitive structure where you you have your class and he's done he's basically done maybe a few minor upgrades but no the game has for each class there's a pretty in-depth um progression system uh your weapons have progression trees and each class the scout gunner engineer and driller each have two different weapons uh for their primary and secondary so you for example, gunner, your your main weapon's a minigun, and later on you can unlock an auto cannon. Your main side gun is a hand cannon, and later on you can unlock a burst pistol. And each weapon has its own talent tree, which if, doesn't feel like you're getting much more powerful, but if you go play a brand new character, you can really tell, oh man, I really did get a lot stronger without even really realizing it. So one thing that I just love is how well designed the classes are and how balanced they are despite all this progression and all these different weapons you can unlock. It just ends up feeling really fun 
to just play every class, even though I pretty much entirely stick with Gunner. And one thing I love about the classes is how well any two classes can synergize with each other. Now, some do it better than others. Really, Scout and Engineer is probably your best combo, but me as a gunner with my scout friend typically we have a great time playing together because there's still things we can do together he can be the one venturing off to mine stuff while i protect him from the rear and make sure all the aliens are off of him and i'm fighting them instead and it really allows for a lot of coordination now that's uh that's the thing with the classes the gameplay in the game is also really great now it's not the best gameplay slash gunplay you've ever experienced or anything, but it feels impactful and it feels really solid. It feels, it definitely feels above average. And it just, I've become so addicted to the game. I initially played it back in uh, March and then bought it after the free week. And the, the gameplay, the classes, the dwarves, the, the mission structure really just sucked me into it. And I think it really just blew me away with just how fun it was such a simple concept and i'm sure one day i'll branch out to more classes besides the little bit i've played of the other ones but for now i think i'm just going to get that gunner legendary while my friend is more of a multi-classer man this the way this game feels to play to me just it it may not let's say for an example the gunplay may not be as good as like destiny but to me it's more fun to play just because of the situations you're in they just feel so dynamic and fun which a big part of that is because of the caves and the biome system deep rock galactic uses procedural generation for its caves and there are now 10 biomes with two new ones being added just a few days ago prior to this video man i love exploring in this game i've always been a fan of open world games but sometimes you want to break from them but i still love exploring and deep rock galactic really just scratches that itch i've done I have about 400 hours in this game, and very rarely do I see two caves in the same biome that actually look the same. Sometimes there'll be repeat, not total repeats, but they'll be like, oh, I've seen this room before. But it's so rare, which is so impressive considering what this game is, this procedural generation. I've never seen procedural generation done this well before. I had about 50 hours in No Man's Sky, and honestly, by the time I was at that 50 hour mark, I kind of got tired of seeing the planets because they really felt the same. Which isn't a knock on No Man's Sky, they're entire planets. It's, it's a lot harder to do than cave systems. But man, I, I was worried that would happen with Deep Rock Galactic in hour 10. And then I was like, mm, it has to happen soon at hour 50. And then by hour 100, I realized that this game is something special when it comes to the exploration. Each, each cave that you enter feels like you're about to enter a handcrafted dungeon from an MMO. Or like a, like a dungeon from an RPG or a strike from like Destiny. They all feel so, they, they feel handcrafted because you end up, you go through these more narrow tunnels that open into these massive expansive rooms. Whew, it makes me want to jump in and go exploring right now. And one thing that benefits that is the, uh, the missions. So the mission types, there are many different mission types from just basic mining with the expedition to repairing mules in more of a holdout situation to mining one specific material in a large room and having so many different mission types is every mission type basically has different cave layouts uh a, a normal mining expedition will be a much longer like delve deep into the cave systems these long tunnels that open to massive rooms whereas collecting alien eggs is more of a maze like system where like that more it wraps around more often or a quarks which is these big materials you have to farm those are much bigger like single rooms with maybe a few smaller branching out areas when you have so many different mission types within 10 biomes using procedural generation to create the caves there really is no end to the variety you'll end up experiencing and that is it's what makes this game playable for so long because in many games progression is why you play at least in my opinion you you play to um make your character stronger or to progress to harder content or whatever else you you really are playing for a carrot on a stick in deep rock galactic there are carrots there there is progression systems as i said as you level up there are weapon talent trees or a perk system which is uh for every class 
and then an end game you unlock overclocks overclocks um essentially they'll turn your weapons into like give them legendary or exotic like effects on your weapons for example the engineer will have one that will turn his grenade launcher into a gun that shoots a small like a nuke basically and that's awesome but that isn't really why you play. You don't play for the overclock progression. You don't play for the, 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 the class progression or the perk progression. They're just supplemental. They're something that make you feel good while you play. But what really keeps you coming back is just how varied it is, despite the fact that it's procedural generation and all these, but these new biomes with these uh, cave systems with these different mission types just make it all feel so varied. You don't play Deep Rock Galactic for your dwarf to get stronger. You play Deep Rock Galactic for your experiences that you just have playing it. Sure, like the game does have difficulties for the missions. There's Hazard 1 through 5, and then for the end game deep dive system, there's normal deep dives and elite deep dives. So the game definitely has content for hardcore players. Hazard 5 is no joke. Elite deep dives are no joke. You really you can do them with pugs, in fact, you can regularly do them with pugs, but expect to coordinate a lot more, expect to communicate a lot more. It doesn't have to be through voice, you can text it, you can uh, just use the text chat, which is completely doable. But it's not easy, and you have to be careful, because you can die very quickly. But it's fun. The difficult content is fun, even if it doesn't reward you with a new gun or a new piece of loot. Um, I recently played Godfall for about 40 hours, and I generally thought the game was okay. Uh, I didn't think it was as bad as some people said, but it, I understood that it's, it's not a good game. It's a, it's a meh. But what, I, what made me stop playing it was once I was hitting the end game content, and I realized I wasn't doing this content because it was fun anymore. I was doing it for a shiny new weapon, and there was better games for that. The WoW expansion was right around the corner. But Deep Rock Galactic, I never come back to, or I never go, eh, I'm just playing this until I get this gun overclock, or I'm just playing this until I lock X cosmetic. I like unlocking cosmetics. I like unlocking new overclocks. But if they took overclocks out, that would definitely hurt the game, but it wouldn't injure it. It would be like a cut. And that's really something special. If you keep playing your game for hundreds of hours just because of the experiences you have in it, that's something special. If 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 Destiny didn't have this loot grind dopamine hit, would as many people play it? It's hard to say. But you can never really know because so many people play it for that. I, I would say the people who play DRG for actual character progression is very little. Uh, and that's just... That's one of the reasons why I love this game so much. Just playing it for so many hours just because it's fun. Just because I want to log into Deep Rock Galactic and go see what's new in a cave, or really test my skills as a, on a Hazard 5 with randoms, or even solo. And that's something, I, I'll touch on solo play. Solo play is entirely possible and fun in Deep Rock, depending on what you want. I personally, I would much rather play with randoms. One, because there's these enemies called cave leeches, and despite the fact that nothing in the game really scares me anymore, I still get little heart jumps whenever I see a cave leech coming to grab me. And I would much rather have teammates around so so I can basically let them go into the room first so so they don't grab me. That's not a joke. That's I, I legitimately do that because I don't want to get grabbed by a cave leech. <laughs> but aside from that, solo play is great. If you really especially if you do like difficult content, trying to solo a hazard five, that's a good way to test your individual skills at the game. Whew. And that uh, talking very quickly here, I know, but I just really wanted to just sort of bellow out everything, or at least a lot of the things I like about this game. Before I talk about the future of the game, I would, I would like to just give a more structured recap, because I understand I'm rambling a lot here, but sometimes when you're so passionate about a game, and it's become one of your new favorite games of all time, you know, you don't really want to have this strict script or anything you want to read from, you just want to talk about the game. And so to recap, it has four really well-designed classes that synergize amazingly with each other and just feel great to play. It has, it has amazing exploration through its cave systems. It has varied missions, varied biomes. It has strong progression without it even being anywhere close to the focus of the game. It has, ton of it has a ton of variety for you to experience. 
and it's just fun for groups and for solo play and to talk about the future it's only growing the game is getting bigger and bigger i think they said something they sold for in the 400,000 range for the first year they sold 400,000 copies and its second year they sold more like 500,000 and then in 2020 they sold 1.1 million copies and i have a feeling that if they keep updating it it might even be it might be even that in 2021 and they are updating it just in november or october they had two new mission types added to the game which i really enjoy them both and then just like I said before, right prior to this video, they released two new explorable biomes. Both of them are amazing. And we know in the future we're getting a new mission type again, new weapons, and I'm sure new biomes will come later on, new enemies, new monsters. The game consistently updates itself, and it, tri it strives to be better and better each update. And the, probably the kicker of all this is, there are is virtually no paid DLC and no microtransactions. There are a couple paid skins that they release every couple of months, and that's it. You buy the game and you have all the content. There is no pay to unlock content. There is no paid expansions and the vast majority of the cosmetics you earn in game. Man, this is a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, which I'm hoping anyone who sees this video has because I want, I wish everyone in the world was playing the game. But if you haven't played it, go buy it. Just buy it. This isn't like, like unless, if you have the money to buy it, buy it. It's 30 bucks, and it's probably one of the best bang for your buck games out there right now. And it's probably one of the best games you can play right now in general if you want something to just play long term. I think this game is perfect in what it tries to be. It wants to be a co-op shooter where you just go into caves together, fight aliens, and mine. And when it's, what it sets out to be, it just masterfully nails it. This is a great game. I hope you enjoyed hearing me ramble about Deep Rock Galactic. I am probably going to go play it now. <laughs> Thank you very much for rocking, watching The Rock and Stone. Goodbye.